Shalom, Ka Halal, Yehawah Ba Hashem, Yehawah Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash. I want to give double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And that's right. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And that's why the scripture stresses the point here in Matthew 24 and 13. It says, He, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Let's read that again. St. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So that's why we don't want to get weary in our well-doing. And what is our well-doing? Prophesying against Mount Seir, which is America, the spiritually uh, Egypt and Sodom that the scripture speaks about. All right. The mystery daughter of Babylon, which is America. Okay. Letting our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans on down to the so-called Mexicans, which also is the peculiar people of the Most High, mainly the elect, letting them know that they are the children of the Most High and Esau Edom is their enemy. And this is their captivity, which is America. OK, and America is going to be destroyed by the weight of 200 million missiles and to come back to the Most High through Yahweh Shai right now while there is time, while they have liberty, while they have freedom. That is that well doing. And we being amongst the believers, all right, mainly the prophets, those that have their hand to the plow doing the work of Yahweh Shai. All right. We shouldn't get weary in that well doing. All right. Because Galatians. All right. 6 and 7 says, be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, so be not swayed off of the path of the truth. The Most High is not mocked, so you cannot make a mockery of the Most High. All right, you can't um, taunt the words of the Most High. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right, so we are, are, are sowing a righteous seed. We are sowing the kingdom. All right, and that's what we're going to reap if we faint not. All right, the book of Hebrews 6 and 10 tells us the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, all right, which is the well-doing that Galatians 6 and 9 speaks of. Galatians 6 and 9 again, and let us not be weary in well-doing, okay? For in due season we shall reap, and we're coming upon that due season, all right? In due season we shall reap the believers if we faint not, that's if we faint not. And we read St. Matthew's 24, all right, and 13. It says what? He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. For that one reason, which should be the main expectation of the hopeful elect being in this thing of ours, is to be saved. It is for Yahweh Shai to receive us and for us to reign with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why. It's important to continue in this thing, all right? The book of Luke, chapter 9, and verse 62, tells us, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So what is putting your hand to the plow? Prophesying against Mount Seir, edifying the people of the Most High, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Edifying is to building them, all right? By building them, you're not just putting the skin upon them, letting them know that they're Israelites. You're giving them the nutrients, which is giving them the 100% truth of the scriptures, all right? It says, Luke 9 and 62, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, which is doing the work, in the name of Yahweh Shah, and looking back, which is being like Lot's wife. And we all know what happened to Lot's wife. Okay? Is, is fit for the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So let's look, let's read that again. It says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. All right? So let's look into this word fit. A definition in the Strong's G, the pronunciation. 
Strong's G2111, Euthetus. Euthetus. And it says, well placed. Useful. All right. So we want to be well placed and useful in the kingdom of the Most High. So how do you allow that to happen? By not looking back, being like Lot's wife. All right. Not getting weary and well doing. All right. Because the time of the Most High is not our time. OK. We shouldn't get weary when we think that things are not happening as quick as we want it to happen. OK. Because all things have been set for an appointed time. And that time is in the hand of the Most High and not in our hand. That's why we shouldn't get weary in our well-doing. Because as the scripture says in Galatians 6 and 9, and let us not be weary in well-doing, which is doing this work, because this is how we're going to save our soul. Okay? This is how we're going to cover a multitude of sins. This is how we're going to get the blood off of our hands, by doing the work of Yahweh Shah, continuing in the work of Yahweh Shah, even unto the end. All right, it says, for in due season, and we're coming upon that due season, we, the believers, those that endure to the, to the end, we shall reap, that is, a crown of life, that is, the kingdom, if we faint not. That's if we faint not, okay? That's why we want to continue to store up our treasures in heaven. St. Matthew's 6 and 19 it says lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth where moth and rust do of corrupt and where these break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt and where these do not break through and steal so those that have put their hand to the plow which is doing the work of our lord and savior yahweh shah all right we are storing up up our treasures in heaven man and those that believe upon those that are stored up upon their treasures in heaven, you're going to receive a prophet's reward, man. And what is that? Salvation. So that's why we as a whole, all right, the believers as a whole want to continue in this well-doing, whether it's believing or whether it's prophesying, okay? That's storing up your treasures in heaven. And once again, Hebrews 6 and 10, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget that, Okay? Now, the scripture tells us in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, and verse 4, it says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And that's why we don't want to faint in well-doing. Because the chief shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai have appointed us as being shepherds over the flock, but when the chief shepherd or the head shepherd come, we're going to receive what? A crown of glory that fadeth not away. That's why it says uh, we shall uh, 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 um, receive uh, uh, glory if we faint not. Okay? Or, or, or we're, we're going to, matter of fact, let's get it again. Galatians 6 and 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap. And that is what we're going to reap, a crown of life that fadeth not away, okay? That's if we faint not, because those that faint, you're not going to be defended, as the scripture tells us in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 2, and matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord. And how do you trust? All right. You have the capability to trust by the gift of faith and what's confounded. So if we look at the generations of old and see any that trust in the Lord or perceive that gift of faith was given the ability to trust. All right. Was, was they ever confounded? The question or the answer to that question, Salakia is no. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Not one. All right. So those that sincerely called upon Yahweh Yahweh Shah and served Yahweh Yahweh Shah, all right, always have been delivered. Verse 11, it says, for the Lord is pitiful, for the Lord is full of compassion and merciful. 
long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgive of sins and save of in the time of affliction. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands in the center that go of two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. So that is the penalty for uh, being faint-hearted. Okay, the scripture says, once again in Galatians 6 and 7, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So if you do faint, as the scripture told us in the book of Sirach, chapter 2, you're not going to be defended. See, in the time of, uh, uh, of the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in the times that lead up to those times, you're not going to be defended. All right? And we are continuing in this work so we can have a hedge of protection about us. So Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, all right, can protect us, okay, if we hold up our end of the bargain. Okay, and that's due to us uh, not fainting. So I just want to do that quick lesson. It was on my spirit, you know, Galatians 6 and 9 again. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Call halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Quidash. I want to give double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. DTA Wa Abar Babal. So I just want to do that quick lesson. It was on my spirit. You know, Galatians 6 and 9 again. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Quidash. I want to give double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect DTA Wa Abar Babal.